So we're right. going to start with the beef, of course, because it's all about the beef. Now, saute thinly sliced pieces of meat. We've done to a skewer. You're not going to use a really prime steak here. You're not going to use tenderloin or New York strip or ribeye. You're going to use something cheap. So we tested all our cheap steak options. And of course, on the outside there, we tested steaks from the round, which is the leg. Very tough and livery. Didn't work at all, even though it's sliced thin and marinated. The next one is a shell sirloin, so it's more towards the loin. And it tasted pretty good, but it cooked really unevenly because you can see all those different muscles in there. They cooked differently and they were kind of wonky on the skewer, so not okay. our favorite. Now this next one is a skirt steak. Worked really well along with our favorite, which is a flank steak. But this is a little bit harder to find and this was a little bit easier to slice. So all things considered, we're going to go flank. Okay. So now this is a one and a half pound flank steak. And of course we have to slice it very thinly. One trick we learned is to cut the steak in half with the grain lengthwise and then work with these pieces independently so that they're just easier to slice more thinly. So against this grain we're going to cut quarter inch thick slices. And this is where we really uncovered some problems. Now a lot of recipes out there make a really flavorful marinade with lots of aromatics and they let the meat sit in the marinade then they skewer it and just throw it on the grill. And we found two major problems with that. The first is that the marinade fell off the meat between the skewering and the grilling and that marinade is really all the flavor so the skewers tasted kind of bland. And the second problem was the marinade very often made the meat taste mealy and dry and mushy and that's because there were things in the marinade doing that to the meat, enzymes. So what we found is one solution to solve both problems. And that solution is we're going to make a very simple marinade using just two flavors that the meat can really absorb, which is salt and sugar. And then we're going to later make a basting sauce that we can repeatedly brush over the skewers while they cook so it hangs onto the flavor and none of those aromatics really affect the texture of the meat. Okay. So our simple marinade is going to be sugar. This is two tablespoons of brown sugar. And this is a tablespoon of fish sauce. That's the salt. And to this we're going to add just two tablespoons of vegetable oil that just helps make it all stick nicely to the meat. And so all those aromatics that you associate with satay like ginger and lemongrass and coconut milk we're going to reserve for the basting sauce. So we're going to let this sit aside at room temperature for about 30 minutes before we're ready to skewer them up. Meanwhile we're going to make a quick peanut sauce because you always serve satay with peanut sauce. So what we're going to do is this is a tablespoon of vegetable oil in a little saucepan. We're going to put it over medium heat. We're going to add a tablespoon of brown sugar, a tablespoon of red curry paste, and two teaspoons of minced garlic. We're going to saute this up just for a few minutes until it's aromatic. It can start to really smell it. It doesn't take very long. Okay, now to this we're going to add some coconut milk. And this is a cup of coconut milk. We found you can either use regular coconut milk or light coconut milk. So we're just going to whisk this together and bring it to a simmer. Ah, oh, that smells good. All right, you can see it coming to a simmer. And now we're going to stir in a little bit of chunky peanut butter. And this is a third of a cup of chunky peanut butter. We're going to melt it right into the sauce. Oh, that smells good. All right, so that peanut butter is nice and incorporated. And we're just going to take it off the heat and stir in these last few ingredients, which are peanuts. This is a quarter cup of chopped, roasted, unsalted peanuts. This is a tablespoon of fish sauce, a tablespoon of lime juice, and a teaspoon of soy sauce. All right, so we're going to let this set aside and cool off the heat and then we'll taste it with our finished satay skewers. All right, so that meat's been marinating for about 30 minutes and it's ready to be skewered. But first we're going to make that basting sauce with all the aromatics, including lemongrass. Lemongrass. Mm, I love using lemongrass. And this recipe has two stalks. You want to lop it off to just about the bottom six inches. This is where the flavor is. And you want to trim off the end here and peel away any blemished outer tough leaves. And then you want to take a pan and you want to smash it because that really releases all the oils and a bunch of anger that you might be harboring. <laughs> These fibers are really tough and even with the sharpest knife you really find yourself working to get them minced. Much easier if you break them up. Ah, oh, that smells good. All right, so now we're just going to slice it crosswise. And so you just want to keep running your knife over it obviously until it's nice and small. All right, that looks pretty good. We're going to have three shallots. All right, so you have the root end and the stem end, and of course this is peeled. You want to slice down towards the root end, and then you want to slice across those pieces, and finally down into a good mince. Okay, so again that's three shallots. And now the base of the sauce is coconut milk again, and this is three quarters of a cup of coconut milk. You could use either regular or light. We're going to add the lemongrass, 
the shallots, three tablespoons of brown sugar, three tablespoons of fish sauce, two tablespoons of minced ginger, two tablespoons of vegetable oil, this is a teaspoon and a half of ground coriander, three quarters of a teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes, finally a little cumin and a little salt, it's half a teaspoon of each. All right, so we're gonna whisk this together, and this makes a good amount of sauce. We're really gonna base the heck out of the skewers when they're on the grill so they can really get some good flavor. Okay. All right, so now to the beef. Take a skewer. You really just wanna weave the meat back and forth so it stays nice and flat on the skewer. All right, and you wanna put a couple pieces on per skewer. You really don't wanna use more than 12 skewers because you're not gonna have room for them on the grill. And the other trick is you wanna leave a couple inches on either end of the skewer so the meat will be right over the fire. So we're gonna finish up these skewers then we'll go out and fire up that grill. Okay. All right, so we're ready to throw that satay on the grill. And I've got a bunch of coals heating up. Now this is a very full chimney, about seven quarts. It's even rounded on the top because we want a very hot, intense fire. And to help that along, we're gonna concentrate the fire inside this disposable aluminum pan but I'm gonna cut some vent holes in the bottom so that the heat okay. can really come through. I'm gonna cut about 12 vent holes or so, just using a paring knife. All right, so we're gonna put this pan right in the middle of the grill, and then we're gonna dump these hot coals into the pan. All right, now that is a good hot fire. We're gonna put the grill grate right over the coals so it can heat up nice and hot. We're gonna put the lid on and let this heat up for about five minutes. So this grill's been heating up and it is good and hot. And I'm gonna give a quick cleaning using first the grill brush to scrape off any bits that are left over from the last time we grilled. And then I'm gonna follow that with a little bit of vegetable oil. I'm gonna use a wad of paper towels. Hold it between a pair of nice long tongs and just really rub it quickly over the grill grates. And the oil might catch on fire on the grill grates, but that's okay. It really seasons the grates up and gives them a nice cleaning. So now we're gonna throw these on the grill, but first what I wanna do is with the basting sauce, which of course we're gonna baste over the meat as it cooks. I'm gonna take some of it out for when we brush on the raw meat and save the rest for when we brush on cooked meat. Okay. And of course I have two different brushes as well. That way you don't contaminate raw meat and cooked meat. So this is the raw meat sauce that we'll use first. So we're gonna do about three minutes on the first side. And you can see how the skewers fit perfectly over this pan of coals that is super hot. And that's how we replicated the fire for a traditional satay. And this is a lot of basting sauce. I'm just gonna start really basting it on. And that's a ton of flavor. All right, so about three minutes on this side, they're gonna get a little charred around the edge, and we'll flip it over and do the same Ooh, on the second good. side. Yeah, it's gonna be good. All right, so it's been about three minutes on this first side. Oh, and you can see it got nice and browned and lightly charred. That's just what we're looking for. And if the skewers stick to the griddle at all, you can just give them a little wiggle and they'll pull right off. And again, I'm gonna baste them with a bunch more sauce, about half of what we got left. So about three more minutes on the second side, then we're gonna add the rest of the basting sauce, give it one last minute to glaze, and we're gonna pull them off the grill. All right, so it's been about three minutes on the second side. I'm gonna pour the rest of this basting sauce on for one final dash of flavor. So we're just gonna give these one more minute, let that last dose of basting sauce really sink in, and then we're gonna pull them off the grill. Okay. Oh, they look beautiful. All right, so we are ready to taste these satay. Mm-hmm, mm they smell good. Here, I'm gonna de-skewer it for you so it's a little easier to, for us to eat. And there's some um, peanut sauce, obviously, that we made. Cucumber relish as well, would you mm -hmm. like? Mm-hmm, yes, thank you. If you'd like the recipe for this relish, you mm -hmm. can go to the website, americastestkitchentv.com. Oh, this looks good. Mmm. Oh. Looks good. Mmm. You can taste the lemongrass mm. and the ginger. And the meat has real flavor underneath all that. You know, it tastes beefy. Great beef satay start with meat. Of course, that's flank steak in this case and quarter inch strips and a very simple marinade of fish sauce, some brown sugar and oil then coconut milk, lemongrass, and ginger for the basting sauce. Very hot fire, concentrated coals, three or four minutes aside, basting all the time. And there you have it, great flavor from America's Test Kitchen to your kitchen, the world's best, mm -hmm. Julia-level mm -hmm. beef satays. Here, would you like another? Yeah, these are good.